this to live in. We've been out here a week. Parked next to the Colorado River in Arizona. We've been sitting in this one place here for about a week. And it's Christmas right now, so we're trying to put a lot of cutting on this little bit of cedar out here. Drag it in with a winch and cut it up and make our for firewood. We'll go inside inside this trailer and have a look around. There are solar panels about 600 watts on the roof running through this charge controller charging the batteries as well as the ones out on the truck. This indicator is how much power right now is going to the batteries in amps. And we have a propane stove as well as a couple of kerosene stoves. Wood pile. And whenever I go to work on this, I use a skill saw as much as I can. Skill saws cut through anything, even hits a nail and it might damage a tooth, but these, these blades are cheap. Compared to a, a chainsaw, this old dead wood will destroy a chains in no time. So I use that only uh, on cottonwood and real soft wood. This is all cedar, I, Arizona ironwood. It's very, burns very hot, little ash. Okay, we have two sinks, one for sitting here for just for drying the dishes, but I just did our dishes a minute ago. Hot and cold running water on an, on an RV pump, which I'll show you in a minute. The wood stove is on nearly all the, burning nearly almost all the time this time of year when it's as cool as it is. This copper tubing here around the stove pipe is connected to two ends. One, the cold end of the hot water tank, the other end up at the hot. This is a closed system, and actually, the it's a convection pump. We'll circulate the water through the hot water tank, and stovepipe goes up, and then notice it turns horizontally right here. Goes into the back room. A couple of ornaments. But I went to work framing and insulating this part, just the front half of the trailer. Of course, there's a, a fire extinguisher you want to keep close to your wood stove. So this area up here is our living area. And goes up to bed, which has stairs, which we are using for storage these days because our bed is, is actually here. But this is our pantry with four 55-gallon water tanks, drums for water allows us to stay out here as long as we do. The closet and pantry. We have 40 inch wide screen. We have a VCR and a DVD. Those, those uh, colored blinking lights up there are for our internet. We have full time internet. Wherever we go these days you can get internet almost anywhere. Bedroom and Full bath, sink, toilet, shower. The stovepipe I mentioned turns, turns 90 degrees and comes horizontally back here. And also goes from an 8 inch to a 12 inch uh, stovepipe. So this larger stovepipe then can radiate the extra heat coming from the uh, stove into this room back here. So, uh, thank you for viewing this video, Area 51 Off Grid. Sometimes called, oh, this is Jewel. And we're called as well, Progs, Prepper Road Warriors Off Grid. That's right. Okay, have a good one. Bye bye.